Hey everyone, it's Will here and today I want to do a quick video on why you should try out letting go of judgment. Just test out letting go of judgment. And this is something that actually I was a bit skeptical of. I was a doubter and I heard it from uh, one of the top personal development gurus of his time, Wayne Dyer, and I was skeptical. So I just let it go, but um, I found places to test this out. And it's helped me become more aware of myself, uh, remove false mental blocks, and actually become more successful as a communicator, as uh, a friend, and really help me succeed more in life by identifying things I was doing wrong. And hopefully the same will occur for you uh, once I show you how this works. So let's get into it. What does, what does this mean? Removing judgment. Well, Wayne Dyer basically said that uh, nothing really is good or bad. A flower is no different from a weed. The only thing that makes it different is human's judgment. A human judges that flower and all of a sudden that flower is good because the human through their perception and their opinions and knowledge and bias, they have placed judgment on that flower and made it good. And so I've struggled with judgment in certain specific areas recently uh, of my life for the last couple years. For example, personal finance. You know, for years now, I've been really into personal finance and I know the power of saving and investing your money and budgeting. And I know that if you can save and invest it, it can compound into potentially millions of dollars down the road if you're willing to wait like 60, 70 years of your life. Uh, and you know how to smart, uh, smart, intelligently and smartly, intelligently and um, modestly invest your money in safe investments. Now, what came from that though, and I think a lot of personal investment uh, personal finance people have the same problem unless they cap it. And trust me, if you go to personal development blogs, uh, uh, personal finance blogs, I mean, or if you go to um, read some of these books, you'll notice it's true. And I've heard other people mention the same type of resentment. Basically, I was starting to feel resentment for everyone around me that was my age because I, I was going to say 99%, but hundred percent I haven't met one person even close to into personal finance as me a hundred percent of them okay 99 percent I've maybe what met a couple 99 percent of people my age were just spending money left and right they live paycheck to paycheck they just blow it on clothes and fashion and they will be so uh, loose with their money and I was just getting really frustrated and angry and I realized I was placing my own judgment on those other people and what was what was actually happening as Wayne Dyer would put it was I was drinking poison and hoping that other person suffered because of it the only uh, result of that resentment and frustration from my judgment was pain for myself that's what resentment is is drinking poison and hoping that other person gets hurt. So I was getting really frustrated and angry and it was not helping. It wasn't being productive. So I turned that off and I realized that, you know, people are people. They don't know better or for worse. And a lot of those people are not interested in learning about personal finance, no matter how you try to persuade, convince, or force it down their throat. And that's perfectly fine. If they want to uh, waste money, that's how they will do it. Uh, and, you know, at least they're enjoying their money. So, um, you know, it gets into a realm of uh, seeing things as they are rather than uh, your own judgments behind them. And also, it's a lesson in personal finance. You know, uh, sometimes, you know, you always have to assess the present value of that money. Sometimes, you know, enjoyment of that money is better in the present. You know, sometimes, even though this, you know, this, ten dollars I could save could grow to a hundred dollars sixty years later sometimes it's better to spend that ten dollars to develop those relationships with your family and friends maybe 
I should take my parents or my mom or my grandma out to a restaurant to show that appreciation and that value of that money right now is worth more than it is 60 years down the line and that's something that a lot of uh, personal finance people get wrong they don't assess that they're just sacrificing every cent of their uh, budget to some glorified date 60 years down the line for retirement and that's not always the best situation sometimes it's waiting 10 years or 20 years and that's the peak moment um, for the best use of your money after it's grown a s substantial amount sometimes it is waiting 70 years and getting a million dollars from your investment egg but sometimes it's spending it now and um, that's something that uh, you know makes an investor rather than just a uh, you know personal finance uh, enthusiast so now let's get into the final topic I want to emphasize I mean I could talk about this forever but I just want to emphasize one last point to hammer this message home and that would be uh, how do you use this to really identify the issues with your own life well it's actually quite simple uh, there's another great saying I don't think Wayne Dyer was the first to originate it though he and Tony Robbins and many others have mentioned it numerous times and here's here's how it goes he, he basically says whoever originated it it basically goes that the judgments and resentment and frustrations and angers that you have for other people they're truly just a reflection of what you are insecure about or what what frustrates you on the inside it's really just a reflection on you and so I really took that to heart and I looked at looked at my own life and if I didn't do this I would still be biased and maybe I would still be thinking and judging in that way uh, so let me just give you a couple quick illustrations to really uh, give you an example of how specifically this plays out so the first example I want to share with you was would be my my judgment and resentment of people who are slacking off you know um, I'm always studying and if you've been looking at my content for years now I've just been you know spending every moment of my time uh, you know listening to audiobooks and all this stuff about how s successful CEOs succeed and how they built their business and business strategy but also personal development and I developed this incredible amount of uh, respect for hard work ethic but I discovered that I was holding this tremendous amount of resentment and judgment whenever I saw someone else slacking off and that just didn't make sense because it wasn't a healthy mental state it was toxic and other people who were successful they they weren't resentful about that they were energized if they saw others slacking off they could get further ahead so where did it really come from why was I judging these people and getting all angry and frustrated when I saw them working off and I and I would have certain sayings when I would react to that in my head like Oh, they're doing it wrong they they're slacking off they're they're bad people and I was brutally honest with myself and looked inward and, and asked myself well why is this the case that's not the right emotion maybe it's something inside and I realized it was it turns out after a bit of thinking it's because I was not passionate enough about what I was doing at times and that uh, dislike of my tasks was reflecting off towards other people oh I have to suffer and therefore uh, since these people aren't suffering I'm jealous or angry of them it was really a sense of jealousy or anger or uh, frustration because I wasn't passionate enough about something and so that was just one thing I think there's other areas that I had I still have to explore as to why I had those emotions and so when you really start looking at this you realize it's not woo woo goo spiritual crap you know I'm a very scientific guy and you'll see that in all my nature I'm a numbers and data driven person but nonetheless you can take these concepts and turn them from this these uh, abstract terms that you can't really seem to 
understand or apply to your life and actually specifically apply them as I've shown you. And uh, I just want to cap it off with one last example of this. You know, I'm still, you know, exploring myself and testing things out. But another thing I found is that whenever uh, someone is having a really great time, uh, especially when it has to do with um, other uh, attractive women, I get a sense of resentment or jealousy. And that wasn't right either. It was a, a sense of um, a toxic mentality. Uh, and I asked myself, where, where's this judgment coming from? Why do I feel this way? Because other people, they, they see the same thing and it motivates them. It energizes them to become a better person so that maybe one day they can also be in those situations. So why, was, why were those people being energized and motivated by it? But I was taking the negative side of it and getting jealous and angry and frustrated. And when I looked inside, I realized, well, one thing is maybe um, a, a sense of defeatism. Despite all, all the um, motivational content telling me otherwise, a part of me was still believing that it was over, that there's no chance. And therefore, every time I saw that, it was just a reminder that I had no uh, chance of ever getting there. And it was just a smack in my face. And so that was just one thing. Again, I'm still kind of exploring, but that's something that I realized that's not true. I cannot, uh, you know, subscribe to this defeatist attitude that isn't true, especially after, you know, reading all these stories of people who are far worse off than me, broke, no education, everything else was wor more, worse off than me, and yet they succeeded. So that was one thing. And I, I started realizing that there were all these judgments and a lot of people are like this. Most people are like this because society has encouraged this through media. They, they just place it everywhere on magazines, on uh, blog posts. They're telling you to judge these people. Like if you look at these headlines, they're literally telling you this celebrity did this and they're trying to incite judgment. But that's not always the best thing to do. Just try and put aside your judgment and, and kind of wonder because another thing, here's another one. Um, you might find that you do this. You judge people for being dumb or being stupid or, uh, you know, acting really, uh, a, a big one for me is of course, judgment, uh, acting dumb, but also, um, being really irresponsible, not just with their money, which I've mentioned, but also just with their life in general. Like, uh, it especially gets me when they're, they're doing so better than me and yet, uh, you know, they're just slacking off and messing around and they have no discipline in their lives. And I really asked myself, well, why am I placing this judgment and feeling worse off myself when I see stuff like this? Uh, well, it's because I feel like they don't deserve it. And uh, I feel frustrated because of my effort and a lack of progress. Well, then that's really an inward reflection of what what I'm frustrated with and it's only hurting me. So you take that and you say, well, how can I make this productive? And then it's quite simple. You just say, in my case, that's not going to be productive. Hey, maybe this person is not that bad. Maybe, you know, you should be uh, grateful that and, and uh, encourage that you can get to such heights and such success without having to, you know, bust your butt. Maybe that means you can, you know, relax a bit one day in your life. And, and maybe um, it's a good thing because now you can get ahead and your competition isn't working as hard. And maybe, you know, these, these obstacles become, uh, you know, advantages. And, and all these things start turning in your favor. And you start thinking, you know, these people, you know, they're not bad people. When you remove that judgment, you think, you realize they're not bad people. That's just how they were born, how they were raised, and they were never prompted or motivated to, to be as hungry as you. And, and because of that, they're just not working as hard, but they're kind people, they're honest people. They, and you start looking at their good, try looking at their good qualities rather than their bad qualities. And you start realizing, you know what? They're actually very friendly. They're, they're engaging. They actually give back to their community. And you start realizing all these things about them that they, you overlooked. And so that's one way of getting ahead. Can I get an amen? 
So that's all I gotta say. If you like this video, not only can I can I get an amen, but can you can you hit that subscribe button uh, on YouTube and, and subscribe to my channel for your own benefit, so that you can you know get free videos like this that will uh, push you in the right direction and help you succeed. That's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.